we go in steady. This is the longest running podcast of anything I've ever been a part of. Wow. Yeah. Things aren't very successful for you. It's not me. I'm never the one that starts. And people usually come to me like, hey, you want to do this? And I'll be like, yeah, because it's fun. But then, like, dumb shit always happens. Yeah. Somebody always ends up, you know, wrapped up in some kind of bullshit in life. They get accused of being a rapist or some shit. Oh, Jesus. Who was that? You did a podcast with a rapist? Nah. That's just an example. That's what 2019 is now. Oh, okay. It's never anything little anymore. It's always, like, really groundbreaking, shattering shit. Like, major shit. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, wait until people find out that you sold your first actual child for crack. I didn't do that. Well, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. It just matters that it was said. And I said it. So, uh, Nobody believes you, though. You've just talked too much. Nobody should believe anything anybody says without fucking facts. Exactly. But that's not the age we live in. Anyways, moving forward. Remember when you got your ass beat a few days ago? It wasn't a few days ago, and I didn't get my (laughs) ass beat for one. And it was like, gosh, almost two weeks ago now. Wasn't that long ago? Yeah. It feels like it was the other day. Yeah, no, it was two weeks ago, Sunday. So set up the scene. Paint a picture for everybody. This is one of the many things that have happened. Um, let's see. Football. Football. Well, it's actually seven on seven for those who aren't football. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. Well, savvy, no. basically. It's football no. without linemen. Anyways, we're playing a team, and this team is a bit rough around the edges, I guess I would say. Is that your nice way of saying? It's my. It's a nice way of saying that their coaches are assholes. I, some of the team, I don't. I don't know the boys on the team, and I don't like to talk about kids, so I'm not going to. But I will talk about their coaches because they're <laughs> ridiculous. They're assholes. They're immature. They're. They shouldn't be coaching any child. I'll just leave it at that. Let's just say that these were more urban. That's what you just said. (laughs) That's not what I'm trying to say. They're assholes. I don't care whether they're urban or not. They're assholes. Okay. Anyways, they decided they were going to pick with one particular kid on our team, and and I'm learning not to use names, so I'm not going to. There you go. But they chose to pick on this kid and his race because he's mixed and continue to um, go at him about him being too white. To be plain. And then it turned into this whole thing. And at the end of the game, I knew a friend of mine and I who were there, we both knew what was going to happen. So a couple minutes before the game, we get up and start packing our things up because we know what's going down. And it went down. The boys, I mean, it was a mess. For like 15 damn minutes, there was, the boys, everybody was fighting on the field. It looked like a rumble. From, what was that book we all had to read? The Outsiders? Yeah. Or it, it was It was seriously a scene from The Outsiders. Everybody was just out for blood. It oh, was yeah. It was fucking stupid. There was like four or five little fights everywhere. And the minute we would break them up and we would get our team, our boys, over to the side of the field, here come their coaches and their team just talking shit, you know, and then our boys would go crazy. And see, see, that's the problem with living in the Midwest. And the thing is, I, I reverted back to like 1992 and 93 where I wasn't such the calm collective mother that I am today. Calm collective. <laughs> that's, those are two words you could use, I guess. And, and then when I woke up the next morning, I was painfully reminded that it is not 1993 anymore and I can't be doing those sort of things. That's what made you realize that it wasn't 93? Oh my gosh, I was so sore, Donovan, for like three or four days. Mom, I hate to call you out like this, but I saw the video. You weren't doing shit. Are you fucking... Okay, you saw a 30-second clip. I'm just saying. And what I did at that point, all I was doing was scanning the field and making sure our boys were holding their own. Oh, my God. 
You you were that person in the fight. What was I supposed to do? You were that fucking person. What you, was I supposed to do? I fucking murder somebody. Stab somebody. <laughs> I didn't have a knife. You, it doesn't matter. You make shift one. <laughs> you pick up the nearest object to you, and you fucking start swinging. Doesn't matter. And you know what? That's why I was going back to say, that's, this is a problem living in the Midwest. We're bored. We got nothing out here. So bored. For us to do, so we make shit happen. Cornfields for miles. So that's why we have all the fucking serial killers. That's why there's fights breaking out in the middle of stupid seven-on-seven football bullshits. It was like 15 freaking minutes, and then it went out into the parking lot. A mom followed me out in the parking lot and ended up calling the cops and telling the cops I hit her. Yeah, and everybody knows that you didn't do shit. Oh, shut the fuck up. You couldn't hold your own. I would have, I would have more respect for you. I love that you talk so much ass. shit. I really do love that you talk so much shit. Because my mom didn't raise a bitch. I don't know if you knew this or not. Somebody starts talking shit on the football field. I fucking snap their neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of them. You and your brother both. Because I don't know if you know this. I'm violent. You're very violent. I'm a violent person. It's because you're white and you're disabled. <laughs> That's a good transition into... What's been happening within the last 24, 48 hours? See, I thought we were going to transition to the OD in the bathroom, but... No, that, that, that's coming up, but <laughs> that, that's a whole other fucking dumb story. Uh, but to explain what's happening with this, well, I, I'm not going to analytically break down because that's just too much. Clip notes. The, the long story short... Is that NTV News, which hasn't been relevant in fucking forever. I personally didn't even know they were still doing news. Uh, nobody does. So <laughs> wanted to garner some feel-good points and uh, had a disabled woman write an article about how uh, Avengers Endgame was too long and thus was discriminatory. Discrimin- what that fucking word? You know. It was ableist because it was too long. And disabled people need to pee. And so, blah, blah, blah. Ricky calls her out, says, hey, don't speak for all disabled people. She ends up blocking her. And uh, starts saying that all these people started calling her racial slurs, which is terrible. I wouldn't support that, and I don't, by any means. But then she follows up her... Her little rant about uh, this situation saying that white disabled men are violent. Can I just say, uh, you can finish your story, but I don't believe that anybody did call her any racial slur. Well, see, that's the thing. I wouldn't go that far because I can't say. I didn't go looking, but I feel like I didn't she would have blasted them hard. Well, that's what I would do. And personally, that's what I do. If I see people saying dumb shit, I, I put them on blast. Not, and that's the thing. Other people would say, don't give them attention. That's what they want. That's not what I'm giving them, in my opinion. I'm saying, here's this piece of shit saying dumb, stupid things. Let me put it out there for everybody else to see and call him fucking stupid. Because that that's what exactly. I do. That's what, well, that's what most people would do, especially given the situation. She would have gladly put one of yours or Ricky's followers on blast. And we like better call her. him out, too. Absolutely, because that is wrong. And she didn't. No. But anyways, continue. But Ricky's the violent, disabled white man, and he's a piece of shit. All white men, all white disabled men are violent, I believe was They're canceled. what it said. They're canceled. Get rid of them. Fucking hate them. You know, you know what we need to be doing? Giving them drugs so they can OD in bathrooms. <laughs> that, that's the other thing that was happening to you, the... Uh, again, Midwest. Midwest. It's just typical Midwest life. Uh, what what happened? You were on your way back home from uh, baseball practice. It's always a sporting event that weird things end up either happening because we don't do anything or, else. or following. Kane's first little baseball practice of the season. <clears throat> you know, he wanted beef jerky. So I was like, okay, we'll stop at the local stop and shop. You know where where I always go, and we'll get you some beef jerky. And I pull in, and there's, like, three cop cars there. 
what I felt it was a little unusual because they usually hang out at the other gas station. But they didn't have their lights on. It didn't look like there was an emergency. So I'm like, you know, whatever. Get Kane out of the car. Go to the door. And the attendant met me at the door and informed me that I may not want to bring my child in because somebody overdosed in the bathroom. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, Kane, get back in the car now. <laughs> and and Kane goes and gets back in the car. And the lady who was parked next to me in this truck, she's like, yeah, honey, I wouldn't take him in there, you know, but, but if you want to leave him in the car and grab what you needed, you know, I'm right here. And I and I just thought that was the weirdest thing because there's somebody dead in the bathroom and my beef jerky should take priority over that. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, if I'm hungry enough. I just felt like that was kind of rude. Like like I was going to be like, well, I, I don't care about the dead guy in the bathroom. I want my beef jerky. I mean, what's... He's not complaining. <laughs> so I was like, no, no, that's that's fine. I'll just go to the other gas station right like right next door. <laughs> You know, but I was like, yeah, but, there's somebody dead in the bathroom. I don't really give a shit about getting my beef jerky anymore, seriously. But you cared enough to go to a different store where you ended up paying more for that beef jerky. I did pay more for the beef jerky See, at the other now, gas station. See, now, the thing is, although you paid for the convenience of not seeing a dead body. Right. And I felt it was like a respect thing. I mean, I didn't know the person who was dead oh, in the yeah. bathroom. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean <laughs> or disrespectful. However, it to say that you needed to show respect for a man who was well, ODing in a fucking bathroom. No, he bathroom. was already dead. He was dead for hours yeah, he in the bathroom yeah. before they found him. He was dead for like four hours before they found him in that bathroom. No, I think I need to clarify like drug abuse. And addiction is a terrible, a horrible, horrible thing. Horrible, horrible thing. It's fucking disgusting. It ruins people's lives. But, like, if you hit a point where you were shooting up in a gas station bathroom, man, you gotta get help. You Absolutely. need to do some shit. But, but my point of view was I felt like my beef jerky didn't take priority over this man's death. Well, I beg to differ. Because if his life was at that point... I'm pretty sure you buying beef jerky wouldn't bother him whatsoever. Well, no, no, I, I don't think it probably would have. But I it, I think it was a me thing. It would have bothered me. I would have been like, yeah, this beef jerky is more important than that dead guy in your bathroom right now. See, that's where we differ because I'm cheap. I'm trying to save a couple bucks. So I, yeah, if I, I paid see, like $3 more for beef jerky at the other gas station. Here's the thing. If, if it was like a thing in restaurants where it's like, hey, you get a discount. You just have to look at this dead body while you're ordering food. <laughs> I would probably do that. I don't give a shit. But can we talk about how he was there for four hours before somebody found him? How do you not realize that somebody... It's like that scene from Clerks. But actual, like for real. And the thing is... Who like found him? The attendant. Apparently he... the During... The 10 minutes before the shift change, apparently he came in and asked for the key. The mm -hmm. one attendant gave it to him. And then the other person who was taking shift over came in and she's like, yeah, I'm fucking out of here. And they just forget about this guy? Yeah. And then he worked for a couple few hours of a shift before he decided he wanted to use the bathroom. And then he couldn't open the bathroom door because he had, like, Pushed his well. I mean, he he was leaned up. His dead body was up against the door, basically, and he couldn't open the door. So a friend of his came in around the same time. He's like, "Hey, buddy, you know you're bigger than me. Help me open this door." And they were pushing the door open and just saw his leg, and then called nine one one. How do you compensate for that as like a business owner? I don't think you do. That's not your responsibility. I I would feel some sort of like, ah oh, fuck. What, what did we get like a care package? Like, are you kidding me? They didn't <laughs> even give that guy a day off of work. He was working the following night. Hey, sorry, I had to see this dead body. <laughs> Here's a fucking cheese platter. <laughs> Here's some various fruits cut up like flowers. I don't sorry think there is pain. anything for that. There is no gift for that. I don't think. I don't know. Getting getting like a few days off. Paid maybe, but yeah, no, he didn't even get that. He was there the following night. <laughs> Fucking, that's that's just an average day in the Midwest. 
Like, I mean, they were t- still taking customers. Like, they would have let me gone in there and buy my beef jerky. You should have. No. I would have. You know, that reminds me. Because, like, the drug epidemic here is dumb insane. I I don't know. I I feel like my limit with things stops at, like, did somebody make that in their basement? Probably don't want it. No thanks. But I can't rap in my brain because I grew up with kids that I, I saw doing shit mm-hmm. in school, like right. in between classes. And that was insane. It made me anxious for them. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get how I, I could see a friend pull out a fucking pill bottle, open it up, and maybe be like, hey, what's that? He's like, oh, I fucking know. My mom takes it. So I thought, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, it's, it's that fentanyl shit. That's what it is. Everything's... A whip little peep. Yeah, yeah. I but I don't get it either. I don't I don't understand it. You don't see that in the high school movies growing up anymore. Like, back in the 80s, it was just like, hey, dude, I, I could score a case of beer. Now it's like, dude, I got, like, fucking 16 Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> it's some heroin you want to fucking shoot up between your toes. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. It's insane. Have you seen the new drugs lately? The new drugs? Like, just any of the new shit? Like, it's, you know? No, That you didn't really. grow up with? No. Nah? I don't fuck with that shit. Do you fuck with Jenkin? With who? Jenkin. That sounds like a supplement of some sort. Mom, where do you think Jenkin is? Oh, is that that nasty stuff? Like, is that what? that is that that pee that's form <laughs> that's like sits for days or something and you breathe it in? Yeah. That's it's, so nasty. It's that's fermented. not a real thing. That's a prison thing. What do you mean? A that can't possibly thing. be like a real thing. What? No, uh, you never fucked around with Jenkins back in the day? Back in your party days? Oh my gosh, stop it. No. You look like a Jenkin gal. You're crazy. I know that's I you. would not pre- I mean, who does that? What what is it exactly? It's fermented pee and poop. You put it in a bottle, put a balloon over the bottle, like the tip, leave it out for a few days. It builds up that gas. Anybody who, who, real, who, if the need to get high or <laughs> fucked up was so powerful in your brain that you thought to yourself that that was the way to do it and that would make you feel better... You really should seek professional help immediately. Like, immediately. What if that guy in the gas station OD'd on Jankum? In the bathroom? That's so gross. Whether that's where the od on. But I believe that that's probably more of a prison drug. I don't know. I feel like that's you pushing your judgment on the people, and that's rude. Now, now, do people use their own pee and poop? Is it taboo to, to like, get high off other that's people's That's a good question. That's a really good question. Like, is your chemical, like... Thing only fit to you, right? Or to like, is there like premium Jankum where there's right. like, like does somebody's dude, pee and poop get you higher than somebody else's? Like there's a dude with a strict diet of like hot pockets and Taco Bell. Yeah, or like, maybe a drug really, addict, maybe, really maybe a heroin you addict. Maybe his pee and poop would get you more high than your own. I, I feel like maybe the heroin addicts are selling that shit to to feed their heroin addiction. We need to bring back Mythbusters. I need to figure this out now. I'm interested. You're on to some shit. Mom, do you want to answer some questions? Depends on what they are, I suppose. Let's see. I'll try and find you a good one. Well, your idea of a good question and my idea are probably two different things. Probably. Uh, uh, my friend asked, Does your mother think it's a good idea that you spent so much time on the internet and give so much of your info about yourself? Isn't she afraid that an internet kidnapper may kidnap you? Well, considering say that. considering that you're the one that says all the shit that you shouldn't say, it's me. I think you need to be scolded more. Yeah, because I'm really bad about that. Yeah, Apparently you don't it's know. A huge thing, and Donovan yells at me all the time about it. Mom, we grew up in the age like they fucking pulled us out of school, out of classes to go into the gym class and have people in like recreate this is what's gonna happen you're gonna be on a computer and somebody's gonna say hey man where do you live and you're gonna be like uh, i don't know fucking down the street from blah 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 also mute your fucking phone i thought i did 
<laughs> and then they're like, oh, and then this is what happens. And they fucking, like, pull a kid from the audience, like, from us, our class, and they pretend to kidnap him. <laughs> and the whole time, you're just pissing yourself in fear, like, this happens. This is, like, a thing. They recreate kidnappings. That's horrible. They, they instilled that fear in all of us, and at one point, we all collectively were like, nah, that's dumb. <laughs> and we ignored that. Because, like, if you want to go to that extent to kidnap a little-ass kid, maybe you earned it. <laughs> well, and you know, and the thing is, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm really bad about that, I suppose. You get really upset about me because I you say I share too much. You do. You put too much out there. Well, I just don't care. You don't. I do. I don't know why. Well, Mom. What makes you think that you're so important that somebody's going to track you down? Well, somebody's, there's been a man, who I will not say, who has been emailing me daily for, like, the last, I'm going to round up to, like, three weeks. I feel like he wants to be your friend. And he just says the most outlandish shit to me in my business email and is the funniest fucking thing. It is so goddamn funny. Didn't he say that I want you dead? Oh, yeah, no. I, I'll find a few emails looking uh, at <laughs> the things that he said to me, but they get fucking ridiculous. And it's so... Okay, let's see. I think perhaps he just needs a friend. Maybe he just needs a hug. What is it like knowing that you're an inconvenience to everyone in your life? Do you ever consider that you are just completely self-absorbed? <laughs> <laughs> How many more years do the doctors think you'll be alive? Does it scare you? How does it feel to know that even your closest friends and family are secretly looking forward to the day, uh, to that day, because that will be the day they get their lives back? I can't imagine being such a burden to people. Oh my god, what an asshole. <laughs> Just so you know, you are not a burden to me. Yeah, I mean, you're more of a burden. That's not nice. I'm just telling you facts. <laughs> so that's, that's the kind of shit I deal with, and you're just throwing out where we live all the time. Well, you know, maybe he just needs a little sit down. Sit down with who? A little fucking power. psychiatrist. Well, that too. Yeah, a he padded needs medication, cell. Apparently, <laughs> we yeah, should be his friend. He hates disabled people. That's his problem. I don't know what his problem is. What if he was one of those guys? I read about this uh, like recently, in uh, because of a video my friend made. Uh, there's like a weird psychological thing that happens to men who get uh, bot circumcisions. It, like, fucks up their mental state. And they get, like, pissed. Like, seriously? Yeah. Can't they fix it? Um, I don't... I, depending on how f fucked up their dick is, I guess. I mean, I, I would think that that would be something they could fix. I don't think so. I mean, have you ever taken a pair of scissors to, like, a piece of skin? No, no, I have not. So, I don't know. Maybe he's just got, like, a fucked up penis, and now he's just mad at everybody. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. That was the thing about Hitler. That's a theory. That could be too. Anyways. But I feel like, you know, he just needs to be understood a bit more, maybe. Somebody asked, uh, do you play video games? You, specifically. Me? Yeah. Um, no, not not on a regular basis, but like when I did, it was more you know, old school Atari stuff, or Tetris was probably the the most recent game that I played as a teenager. I love Tetris. Would you play the new Tetris Battle Royale? I don't know. That's got too much noise, I think. Was that what's... Too much noise? Well, like, remember we watched the competition and My there was like sensors. a lot of noise going on? I can't do it. It's got to be quiet. <laughs> what? Yeah, the video game can't be loud when I'm playing it. I want it to be quiet. I've never heard that complaint in my entire life. <laughs> With you. I, it's distracting. Uh, okay. Like, when, when you get to the point where, like, it's going faster and the music gets faster, that fucks with me. I, it's that's the be point. Quiet. That's the point no, of it. No, See, that's not fair. The, the stakes get upped. You gotta work on your fucking feet. But that's fine, but they don't need to be all loud about it. I know that the pieces are coming down faster. The music doesn't have to fucking tell me that. I see it happening. 
Not, that's just good game design. No. God, you. <laughs> Somebody asked, what appeal do you see in ICP? Well, I'm glad oh, you asked. Gosh. I'm glad they asked you that. The thing is, they get a bad rap. And my mom, right here, you're, you're a part of that. You're a part of that negative stigma. You, what, what, did, what is it that you think about juggalos and juggalettes? What, what negative things do you associate them I don't, with? Okay, what negative thing? From what I know, and is it a whole lot? Exactly. And the things that I know I have learned from you and your brothers. Mm -hmm. They're not the most intelligent. I'm just going to say it. They're not the most intelligent people. Weird. And they do use a lot of drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? And I, I don't, I can't really find the right words without hurting people's feelings. And I don't like to hurt people's feelings on purpose. See? And that's where, but, and that's, that's the fucked up thing. You are preemptively judging an entire group of people who want nothing more than to find their own little piece in the world and be happy expressing themselves what? What are they the way they that's are, positive? living what are they their doing? life. What are they doing that's contributing to what do you something mean? positive? So, so they have done so many things for charities. Like, they have raised thousands of dollars for basically just things for children, for disabled people, for the vets. And you're, you're judging. I'm not judging them. I just know what I see on videos, and it's not good. Violent they don't... If that's the case, they need to work on their self-image. They no, need no, to no. get on YouTube, no, they and don't. they need to see what people think of them. And no, what, they don't. What is maybe out people, there. Maybe people need to spend a little bit more time doing their own research instead of com coming together and making a collective decision that these people are bad people. Okay, how old that's are why the members of, what's this band, ICP? ICP. I, yeah, how old are they? I, I don't know, old enough. Old enough. They, I mean, they have adult children, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know about um, adult children. Do but they, they still, children. like... Wear yeah. like makeup, full, yeah, that's full their face image. makeup, and yes, and that's a part of who they are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and they are good people, and I will not have you disrespect them in this household. Um, it, really, this is my household. Uh, not, not anymore. It's not. But I don't know. I just they're good they people. They don't help themselves out when it comes to their self image. Let's just say that. I think you need to rewrite yourself because who are you? I didn't know you were Jesus Christ. I'm not. I'm are just you passing saying. judgment on these people. <laughs> Where's where, where the, where the I'm fuck not is the your only son? one? I'm not the only one that passes judgment on these people. I expected better from you. I mean, as your son. Jesus, what what do they go around saying? Whoop whoop. Yeah. What's that about? <laughs> it's the sound of the police. And why do they go around saying that? Because 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 why? Fuck the police. That's why. <laughs> because because they're doing something illegal. Like or, you, like are you they possibly like, are they possibly like are never smoking done, fucking meth? Like you've never dabbled in meth. I have never. I don't need you. Fuck you. Oh, you're <laughs> so full of shit. I'm just <laughs> saying that I think a lot of them, if they're good people, they need to put that out there a bit more, and maybe not put out so much of the drug use. Somebody asks, "Did your mom ever expect that you would uh, become as popular?" And hopefully successful as you are now. Uh, I see you get a lot of love from uh, different online communities, which is amazing. But I guess I have to wonder if she feels relief or if she always knew something like that would happen. What's it like having a popular ass son? I don't believe it. I mean, it's like one of those scenes where I don't even realize that he's all that popular because he's kind of an asshole. I don't understand it. Yeah, that's what it boils down to. Like, I, think. I don't it's like, get that whole thing. You don't, yeah. you don't understand this no. fully. No. I, I try to explain it to you, but I don't think it ever gets to the point where you'll understand it until there's like a big moment, I think. I don't know what moment that is. I don't either. But I don't, you know, I don't understand the whole twiddly dee and the little... Whatever it is that you do. I know that you do and you're good at it, but I don't understand the popularity factor. I'm just funny. The, well, you're funny because I'm your mom. That, no. Oh, but Jesus. Um, I don't understand the whole popularity part of what it is that he does. 
Somebody asked, why am I such a smart ass? Jesus Christ, I ask myself that every day. What's your theory? That you're just an asshole. You're wrong. Ew. Somebody asked if it's okay to put spinach in your mac and cheese. Um, I guess it would depend what kind of mac and cheese. I mean, you couldn't do it with just, like, crap mac and cheese. But no, if you were I'd, making, I'd like, you. a gourmet mac and cheese, I think it'd be okay with, like, you know... Some yeah. white tr- cheddar and some Swiss with some spinach, that would be good. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if you just opened up a box of, like, craft, I'd be pissed. Yeah, no, you couldn't do that. That would be gross. What, what white ass shit? That's like, you know what pisses me off? People that put ketchup in the mac and cheese. That shit makes me real mad. Like, I'd, heated. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty Like, I would almost start a fight over that shit. I hate it with, like, steak, when people put ketchup on their steak. That Who really the doesn't... fuck puts ketchup on steak? Oh, my gosh. I know people that what? do that. Yes. Who? They will get a Cut steak. Cut that negativity out of your life. They will get a steak well done and ask for ketchup. What kind of pussy-ass piece of shit? Right. It's like, get a fucking hamburger. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Wh- what other things do you do that are gross like that? Um, I think that's about it. Nah. I know. People debate about like ketchup on scrambled eggs i'm not for it but the one time i did u- I do it it was with sriracha ketchup so it's it kind of like bad. it was like hot sauce ketchup i mean i put salsa on my scrambled eggs What's salsa the is good i mean a little bit of spice but i mean it's tomato tomato nobody says that i just who do you actually know that says tomato exactly nobody fucking says <laughs> nobody tomato. does say tomato do they no uh, nobody I says it. I bet the it. British people do. Who says tomato? Is nobody. that come from somewhere? Nobody says it. If you know one person, let me know in the comments down below because I will tell you that you're a fucking liar. No, I think there's people out there that say it. Can you name somebody? Huh. No, exactly. That's the point. Mom, where do you see yourself going with this? Because at, at some point, you know we're going to bring in people. Bring in who? Like, guests to talk to. Who wants to talk to us? Uh, quite a few people. I know for a fact that Violent J, one half of the ICP, his son follows me. If I got Violent J on here, I would want you to have a conversation with him. I would have to educate myself a bit more before I Yes, you would, because I will not stand for you being that fucking disrespectful. I'm not disrespectful. At some point, he has to know his followers are a little weird. Come on. You can't control how people okay, but act I'm just that follow saying, you. I'm just saying, there isn't a single video out there about these people that say, hey, you know what? They're fucking normal. What do you mean? Yes, there is. Is there? Yeah. Is there? Yes. You just don't go out of your way to look for it. You just want to be negative. I'm not You're being negative. I'm just saying the ones that pop up, everybody looks like meth heads and like they're dating their siblings. Okay. Speaking of negativity, what are some things that are pissing you off on Facebook? I like these conversations. Oh, my God. There's so much that pisses me off. You know what lately has been pissing me off? That whole feeling cute shit. Feeling cute? What do you mean? Yeah. People like, you know, um, uh, oh, gosh. Like they had a picture of Dolly Parton. Yeah. It says, feeling cute, might go, what's that girl? Jolene. Might go kill Jolene later. That kind of thing. And yeah. they're doing it to everything, and that's really aggravating me. You know, that's a meme. That's what memes are. Well, it's aggravating. I Why is it aggravating? It's you have a, stupid. You have a lot of anger. Like, my mom's just now coming to the conclusion that Facebook is just ass because she's and just been me really angry so angry lately. I have been because everything on Facebook is like, are you fucking serious? Shut the fuck up. You're so bitter. You know, but Like what? But I don't have a Tweedledee, and I don't do Instagram, so I don't know what else to do. It's it's better that you don't have a Twitter account. I wouldn't I wouldn't want you surrounded I mean, I by do. this shit. I do. I just I was only on there for a couple of months, and it kind of was weird for me. So I never really <laughs> learned how to do tweet tweets properly. I don't think it's probably a good thing. You stick with what I I do for you. Like I I could be your social media manager. And it makes me upset, because at one point, the high school that you work for was opening up a position for a manager 
for it, their social media. It's account. so open. I mean, Lawanda's taking and it you over won't, for the most part. And you but, won't fucking let me take it over. No, that terrifies me. Why? The I had so much you, fun with it. The idea of you being in charge of a the local day-to-day high school. activities of the, the athletic department sports stuff through Twitter is terrifying to me. You say terrifying. I say genius. Do you not know how well I do on social media? You guys would should be begging for me to do it. And I would I'm willing to do it for free. You talk to your people, let them know. Tell them to hit me up. I don't see my credentials. The, I don't I don't think the board once they like once some of the people researched you, they although some of them would probably appreciate your humor, they would probably be like, Yeah, no. Too violent. I mean, how white. are you gonna announce the, the Friday night lights game? Friday night lights game? All right. Yeah. Let's Here, say we're playing, um, here, well, here's, I can't really say the high school name, can I? No. Here's here's what I would do. Are you ready? I would st- uh, show a picture of the team and say, all right. Our team or their yeah, team? Yeah, no, our team. And be like, all right, uh, fucking football, sport team, go. And then follow it up with a clip from Remember the Titans, but I'd edit the scene where they all got into a car crash and died uh, with the other team that they're going to fight. And that's going to be them. See, and that's that's why. Those are, those are, that's why. Why? Because they're going to get murdered. They're going to murder. I get your, I get what you're trying to do there, but yeah, no. Can you really talk shit? You're the one out here fighting other teams. Fucking not doing shit. You know shit. what? Fuck that team. So you know what? Fuck that team. And I, I can say be the over NCAA. and over again. Fuck that team. There are they were all kind of bitches, to be honest with you. You know what you should have done differently? What's that? You should have just fucking gotten out on that field with a bag of crack. And everybody would have stopped fighting you. And it would have been like a trained dog. They all would have just waited <laughs> <laughs> to see what you were doing. No, they wouldn't have. Everybody was, they, they knew what was going to happen from the very beginning. That's what they wanted. But, Mom, we're going to get guests. That's the point. We keep sidetracking. Are you ready? Are, are, can I, are you socially trained enough to interact with other people? I don't think so. What does that even mean? What do you mean? Other people are going to get brought in. You're going to talk to them. What do you mean socially trained, then? I don't understand. Are you, am I able to bring you around people? You know when kids... Uh, get brought to like the movie theaters or like restaurants and they just don't know how to fucking behave that's gonna be you well it depends on who they are I guess I'm, I'm never gonna tell you who they are <laughs> you're just gonna have to talk to strangers well no that wouldn't be fair then that would be funny that wouldn't be yeah <laughs> and you'll never know what they are or, like what they do or what they are you have to like dissect it as we talk to them oh like figure it out okay well then you'll be really mad because I really won't know how to act <laughs> Well, you know, they could be, like, serial killer or a porn star. Mm-hmm. You'll never know. I'd rather not interview or talk to a porn star. That'd be weird. Without knowing first. Or a serial... But you'd rather take a serial killer? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. All day. God, you're such a white woman. So, Mom, are you are you happy with that one? I am very happy. All right. That sounds good. Say goodbye to everybody, Mom. Bye, everybody. Bye. Shut up, Mom. Stop being mean.